Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Jenny Guide. In today's guide video, we are going to learn how you can sign up or create an account on Instagram as a business or create a business Instagram profile. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also make sure you turn on the bell notifications because we promise to bring you more awesome content and videos like this one. And without any further ado, let us get started with today's video. So the first thing we want to learn is how we can download the Instagram application. First, make sure you have downloaded and installed the Instagram application to your device. If you have not yet downloaded Instagram, then what you want to do is simply open your Google Play Store for Android users. And if you are on your iPhone or your iOS like me, then you can simply open the App Store of your device. Depending on whichever app stores you have, at the top of the screen you will be able to find the search box. Simply tap on the search box and then go ahead and type in Instagram. Once you type in Instagram, you can see that the first application which comes up on the list is called Instagram. If you are on your Android, then you will have to click on the green download button in order to download the application. And if you are on your iOS, then you will have to tap on the cloud-like icon in order to go ahead and verify the download with your Apple ID password. So assuming that we have already downloaded the Instagram application to our device, the next step we are going to jump onto is how we can set up a business profile on your Instagram account or your Instagram application. We are going to learn how to do that step by step, so simply make sure to watch this video till the end. So once you open your Instagram here at the bottom of the screen, you will be able to find an option called create new account. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create a new account from scratch and then turn that account to a business profile. So to do that, we are going to simply tap on the create new account button once you see it. Once you tap on create new account button, here you will be able to see multiple options. Here at the middle of the screen, you'll be able to find an option called sign up with phone or email. So go ahead and tap on sign up with phone or email as you tap on sign up with phone or email you will need to remember that you need to have either phone number or email address to connect or to sign up with your instagram account if you don't have neither of these you will not be able to create a new business profile or an instagram account on the instagram application in my case i'm going to simply enter an email address which is convenient for me so i'm going to simply go ahead and do that once you go ahead and enter your email address, make sure you have typed in everything correctly because this is where it is going to send the verification code to. Once you do that at the bottom of the screen, you want to go ahead and tap on the next button. As you tap on next, it will ask us to enter the confirmation code which has been sent to the number or the email which you typed in. So make sure that you have received the code on your phone and then go ahead and enter the code first. So once you enter your code which you have received in your inbox, what you want to do is you can simply tap on the next button right at the bottom of the screen. So as you can see, once you enter the code, it is asking us to enter our business name. So here you don't want to enter your personal name, but you want to go ahead and enter the name which you want to add for your business. So I'm going to simply go ahead and type in my business name right over here. Once you type in your business name here at the bottom, you'll be able to find an option called next. So go ahead and tap on the next button once you see it. Now the most important thing is to actually create a password. So make sure you choose a strong password where you include all of the upper cases, lower cases, buttons and so on. Make sure you also choose a very memorable password in case you don't forget it. And here at the bottom, you, have, you can see an option called save password. If you check on this option and leave it as it is, the next time when you try to log into Instagram for this account, it will not ask you for the password and you won't have to enter it again and again. But if you don't feel very secure, then you can simply uncheck this option. But in my case, I'm going to simply leave it on check. Once I do that, you can go ahead and tap on the next button. As you tap on next here, it is asked us to enter our birthday here at the bottom. You can also read a text which says, use your own birthday even if this account is for a business, a pet or something else. So even if this account is for a business, what you want to do is you want to simply enter your real birthday and not the fake birthday. So once you enter your own birthday, what you want to do is you can simply tap on next again. 
As you tap on next here, you can see that it is asking us to create a username which says pick a username for your new account. You can always change it later. So make sure you pick a username which is very, very attractive and catchy and very simple yet genuine because this is how the people and customers or visitors are going to search you on the Instagram app for your business. If you don't have one available, then you can simply type in the new one and check if another username is available or not. Keep trying until you find the right username for your business. Once you enter your username, what you want to do is you can simply tap on the next button at the bottom of the screen. As you tap on next here, it says you can always change your username later. So you can go ahead and confirm the sign up process. So once you tap on sign up here, it will ask us to either find our friends by connecting to the Facebook. For now, we are going to simply skip this option right from the bottom of the screen because we are going to get to this later once we complete the sign up process. Over here, you can either choose a profile photo for your business page here at the bottom. You'll find an option called add a photo. You can simply tap on this add a photo option and here you can see import from Facebook. Choose photo from gallery and so on. You can go ahead and choose a photo which you want to use for your business or your business page. Once you do that at the top right hand side of the screen, you have to go ahead and tap on the done button. As you tap on done here, it will ask you that also share this photo as a post. If you check on this option, then a new post is going to be created of your profile picture. We don't want to do that, but if you do want that option as well, then you can simply leave it as it is. Or if not, then you can go ahead and tap on the next button at the bottom of the screen. Again, it will ask us to either connect to our Facebook or to connect our contacts. You can simply tap on next on the top right hand side in order to skip this process. Once you do that, you can see that over here, our Instagram account has been successfully created. Now the most important thing of this video is that we are going to learn how we can convert this account to a business account. To do that at the bottom of the screen you will find an option of your profile picture. You want to simply tap on your profile picture right over here. Once you tap on your profile picture, here you can see an option called edit profile. So what you want to do is simply tap or click on the edit profile button. Now in here in most cases if you want to change this to a business account at the bottom you'll find an option called switch to professional account so we want to do that because we are going to learn how to convert to a business account so go ahead and tap on this option once you tap on this option here you can see multiple menus and so on you can simply choose to read this i'm going to simply click on continue at the bottom of the screen once you tap and continue here, you want to select a category for your business depending on what category your business lies in. In my case, it could be a product or service or it could be a local restaurant or business or grocery store, photographer and so on. You can simply choose any option which you think is convenient for you. And here you can also see an option called display on profile. You can simply check on it and this category is going to be displayed on your profile. So this is not really an issue even if you turn it on or even if you turn it off. Once you do that and once you are sure with how you want to go with it at the bottom of the screen you want to go ahead and tap on the done button as you tap on the done button here it may ask you a question so please be patient until a new pop-up menu comes up so as you can see over here the most important part of this video is that it is asking us to switch to our business here it says based on the category you selected you may be a business you can change this anytime and over here we have been given two options the first one is called business which is actually best for retailers local businesses brands organizations and service providers we want to learn how to create a business page on instagram so we are going to leave it on business but for other users what you want to do is at the bottom you can see an option called creator which is actually best for public figures content producers celebrities artists and influencers you can go ahead and tap on the creator button but we are going to leave it on business for the sake of this video once you do that at the bottom you need to go ahead and tap on the next button again as you tap on the next button here it will ask us to review our contact information you can go ahead and enter your active email address you can also go ahead and enter an address if you do have one of your business if you do have a local address and you can also choose to enter your phone number or end at the bottom of the screen you can simply tap on don't use my contact info if you want but you can simply select this and it is going to display it on your profile so we can go ahead and tap on the next button once you enter all of the details once you go ahead and tap on next here, it will ask us to connect to a Facebook page. So if you do have a Facebook page of this similar business profile, then you can simply tap on log into Facebook and it will ask us to confirm to our Facebook page right over here. You can go ahead and continue as a Facebook profile. 
and it is going to ask you a few confirmation you can go ahead and tap on the continue button but i'm going to simply skip this process right over here now the next thing you can do is here it will ask us to set up our profession account the first important thing you want to do is simply complete your profile by adding a bio or your website if you do have a website for your business then you can go ahead and enter one website right over here and at the bottom you can also select a bio which you want to display on the top of your profile once you do that on the top right hand side of the screen you can also tap on the done button as you tap on done you want to confirm the changes again we have successfully set up our profile the next thing you can do is you can get inspired you can simply follow other similar business pages on instagram and then click on done again the next thing it will ask us is to grow our audience so it will ask us to invite our friends either by whatsapp by sms by email or invite friends by any other social media by copying the link or you can also simply follow the contacts and do so the next thing it will also ask us to share content to view insights if i tap on this you can choose to create a new post over here once you do that it is going to be posted on your instagram profile if you go back in here you can see an option called explore professional tools if you tap on explore professional tools here you can see two options which is called insights and the other one is called promotions if you go to the insights you can see how your content is doing with analytics about your content's performance and the people who engage with you as you can see here you can see content option post storage it is going to give you real-time data on what is happening on your account if you go to the activity as well as the audience section on their instagram profile if you go to promotions and this is actually an option to sponsor or to boost your instagram post in order to reach more visitors and get more traffic and ultimately grow your business in the long run once we are sure of all of that, you can simply tap on done right over here. And as you can see, we have successfully created a business profile. Then the next thing you want to do is if you want to shop or sell your products on Instagram. Currently, if your account is new, then it is not going to be eligible. You need to have a few more activities before Instagram can verify that it is a real and a legit business. Then you also need to connect your Instagram page to your website in order to start selling on Instagram. Now you can see that we have successfully created our business page on the Instagram application. So in this way, you can really easily learn how to create a business page on Instagram and sign up for an Instagram and start growing your business on the Instagram application for absolutely free. We hope that this guide video was really helpful to you. And if it did help you, then do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any more questions regarding this, then also make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.